Hey Astroneers, Games for Life here, and in this video I want to show you multiple bite farm designs. I got this idea from a comment Mohammed posted on an older video, so I decided to put the idea into action. As you can see, bites are really important to unlock all the items in Astroneer. Now I've got all of the items unlocked here, and I have a surplus of bites. We are getting close to 4 million bites, and today I'm gonna show you how I did that. So we are gonna take a look at three different ways to build a bite farm, the first being inside the caves. Of course, there are multiple ways to build a bite farm, these are not the only ones, but I find these to be the easiest to build. So here we've got the first one, this is the smallest bite farm possible in Astroneer, and all you have to do is go to the caves, find these things that spawn the research samples. You can see one right in there, that's a research sample. So they spawn on these things, and as soon as one spawns, this auto arm grabs it, and feeds it into the research chamber. You can see right here we are getting 39 bytes per minute from just this one. And we've got another one right here, it's basically the same setup, I just decided to do it twice. This is extremely cheap on materials, so you can build a ton of these. Now to provide power, I have placed RTGs on here, but RTGs are expensive, so you don't have to do that. One medium wind turbine will suffice, so you can just put that on there, or you can have multiple small wind turbines. Solar panels, of course, won't work in caves, and using generators is not a good idea, since you want this process to be automated, so wind turbines is the way to go. Or if you've got the extra material, you can just place RTGs on there. So that was the smallest variant of the tree we're gonna take a look at today. Now let's move on to the medium sized one. And yeah, the last one is really big. Here's the medium one. This works on gas. So what we have right here is two atmospheric condensers which create argon. And then the argon gets fed into the research chambers. And here we get 120 bytes per minute out of every research chamber. So you can build multiple of these right next to each other and you can get a ton of bytes. This process is completely automated, all you need is power. You don't even have to be on the same planet as your bite farm, as you're gonna see in a minute, because the last one is actually not on Glacio, it's on Aatrox, and they'll keep on going even when you're not there. If I open my PDA here, you can see my bite number going up. That's from all the bite farms I have in this world, and it keeps going up all the time, no matter what I do. And you can see we're getting over a thousand bytes per minute right now. Before I show you the third and last farm, which is also the biggest, I want to tell you about the automation playlist. It should appear on screen right now. That's where I have collected all my videos about automation, such as the automated trade platform, the scrap farms or the bite farms. And that's not all, there are a ton more videos in there, so make sure to save the playlist and watch it after finishing this video. Now we are heading to the last bite farm of this video, and I'm really excited to show this to you. And here's our little Aatrox space. We've also decorated this in a older video. We painted it and added some flowers. And of course a lot of power to sustain our bite farm. This is the biggest bite farm I've ever built in Estronier and you can see why. This thing is absolutely huge. So we've got three extra large platforms. The first has three atmospheric condensers on it. All of them are getting methane. Then we've got a series of auto arms getting the methane from the atmospheric condensers into the research chambers. So this is also an iteration of a gas bite farm, just on a larger scale. And as you can imagine, we can keep on placing platforms with research chambers here, because the atmospheric condensers are producing so much methane that all of these research chambers can't keep up with it. That's because on Aatrox, there's a high concentration, 100 ppu of methane. So this is the perfect place to do it. You can try it with helium, sulfur or other gases, but I have personally found that methane works the best and this farm gets us the most bites out of all three but it does require a lot of power. We have, I think, over 200 use of power on here with all of these going on at the same time. We've got more on that side. So yeah, you're gonna need a ton of power for this. If you're early game and you actually need bites to unlock things, like maybe you just started the game a couple hours ago, I suggest you try the very first variant we looked at today. That's the easiest to build and it doesn't require that much power. Then as you progress through the game, you can try the second one, the small guest bite farm we looked at on Glacial Surf. And then once you've got all the materials you need, you've got power, you've got everything, then you can build something like this. And this is not the biggest it can go either. As I said earlier, you can expand this further. So maybe in the future we'll make an even bigger bite farm, maybe spanning a whole planet, or at least around it. I'll have to think about that, but let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that. So those are all the bite farms I've built so far in Estronier. If you know any other bite farm designs you think I should try, let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, and also tell me what you think about the automation playlist. Alright, that's all for today, I've been Games for Life, and I'll see you next time. Cheers, Astroneers!